Good evening, I'm meteorologist Kit Kloniger in the Weather Center at Local 4. Continuing to track a little bit of severe weather. Get a quick cut in here uh, over with. We've got uh, still one severe thunderstorm warning for parts of Hayes County and Frontier County. That is moving into Hitchcock and Red Willow County at this hour. So looking a little bit closer here, we've seen with this storm hail and winds uh, estimated up to 60 miles per hour already reported in uh, Hayes County. There was uh, actually just towards the northwest uh, earlier with that storm. There was a report of hail up to an inch and a half diameter. So that was up there in far southeastern Perkins County about an hour or so ago. And then three quarter inch hail was just reported in the Hayes Center area, as well as radar or uh, actually estimated by damage uh, 50 to 60 mile per hour winds there in Hayes Center. Half hour. It's moving southeast now, about 30 to the Culbertson area by around 7:20 this evening. Then around McCook by around 7:30. So uh, this new warning goes until 7:45, uh, uh, I believe it was. Um, it'll continue down into uh, parts of Kansas, down towards the Marion area. Um, there near the Kansas border by almost 8 o'clock this evening. So uh, if you are at home, go ahead and uh, stay inside. These winds uh, could be a fairly strong, and hail uh, could do a little bit of damage to vehicles as well. We can see uh, the pink colors here. While earlier they were more broad and larger within the storm uh, that's uh, started to reduce just a little bit. So maybe the hail threat is beginning to diminish, but you see also a little bit of a curve and that tends to happen whenever we start to see the winds really start to kick up. So this may be transitioning from more of a hail threat to more of a wind threat. So we will keep that in mind. Looking on a broader view, we have a couple more thunderstorms up and down uh, basically the Highway 80, 83 corridor. And it seems like as we go east of this corridor, conditions are a little less favorable for severe weather. So it looks like it will begin to wrap up, but we'll continue to monitor this storm as it heads towards the McCook area. But for now, we'll send it back to regular programming. All right, $255,311. Nicely done. Nicely done. All right, we're going to add that to the wall now. $300,414. Okay, now everything's going to change dramatically because it's time for questions. You are going to decide where to play the ball 